Hello. Welcome to Corky's Tea Time. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am currently working with these wax flowers. They're live flowers and I just bought them at the store. The ladies told me she said they're wax flowers. And I have these red roses. And I am making a bouquet for my granddaughter for her ballet recital. And so I'm doing some flower arranging. And what it is, is we have a tradition every year. What happened was this was all by accident. One year, her first recital. One set of grandparents went to one side of town. We were at a different side of town. We both bought a flower arrangement in ballet slippers. They bought her, the one that they picked up was all pink like your typical pink ballet slipper. The one we picked up is different, and we haven't seen any like it since. And this is, I really don't want to move it because I'm working on the array. I gotta try to get one more rose in there at least. But uh, ours has that antique look to it. This is her ballet slipper. You can see on the back there. It was from Safeway. And that's what we gifted her on her first recital. Well, ever since then, it's been tradition that we give it to her at her ballet recital. And then we go pick up the vases the following year. And then we go off to our destinations and we make our flower arrangements. Let's see if I can turn this a little bit. A little bit better. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm sitting here at the kitchen table and I am making flower arrangements with the roses and the wax flowers. And I have to try to get one more rose in there. That way it'll be six. And I think I'll put one here on this far side. And we'll pick a nice one that's nice and tight bud. That one looks fantastic. If I was to cut it, little bit. It says to do it that way, to put your flower upside down to your vase, and you'll know what height you want to cut it. And I would say probably right about there at this knuckle. We'll try that. You can always take off more. You can cut it at a slant, is what I was told, so that the rose could drink up some water. And if it's curving that way, we'll put it in this way. We'll move everybody over just a titty little bit. Little, 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 little. Come on, one more rose. Can we do one? There we go. We got it. Got it. Yay! <laughs> Six in there. It's far much more narrower than you think the way it's shaped, you know. It is a ballet slipper shape. Turn it a little bit more. So I'm just sitting here quietly making a flower arrangement in here. And I've got in the six roses into the vase. And then I'll add some more of the little wax flowers. Ours is her little slipper here has this red rose on the front. So that's what gave me the idea. Last year I just did wildflowers, bouquet of wildflowers, all different colors. This year, something told me to do the red rose. I tried to also take into consideration the color of her costume. This year, she's a mushroom. And she, her mushroom dress is not white like a mushroom. And it's not red and white polka dot like a mushroom. It's almost like a magenta color. A brownish magenta. Yeah, that's what it's called, like. And uh, but this is about between the red roses and the wax flowers. They're totally out of flowers. They're totally out of baby's breath. Because of graduation, last day of school, the universities, everybody's graduating. So let's 
see here's a tall stem that we could put back here with the tall roses oh yes nice nice yes don't you love it when it comes together well perfect perfect yes and the lady at the florist counter she even gave me a cardboard box to put the base in and uh, some tissue paper. She stuck some tissue paper in here for me too. And because they, they were just like out of everything. And uh, so there's some tissue paper there in the box. And uh, I will continue to assemble it. And I think maybe some little wax flowers in the front. I see one more branch. This was a dozen red roses. So I have six more left over that I can arrange in a vase for me. And the unfortunate thing about store-bought roses, oh yes, beautiful, perfection and everything. Is that fragrant? I don't know. But uh, usually they're not fragrant, not store-bought. No. The lady across the street, she used to grow these beautiful purple flowers, and here's some more of the wax flowers up close. And she used to grow these beautiful purple flowers and they were roses, and they were so fragrant, so fragrant. The lady across the street from us has a lilac bush in her yard, and when that blooms every year, just this fragrance just comes wafting over here. Wafting, wafting, wafting. I don't know, should I? <laughs> hmm, what to do? I know I need to try to sit in this chair a little bit longer, more comfortable. But, uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, this chair. Ugh. I picked this one to sit in this section. I guess that's a good. That's a good one. Um, I need some more purple here. I believe, but I just don't know how much to trim off at the moment. So I will do the upside down trick. Oh, probably about that much. Yeah, we'll stick it in. Oh, I've got stuff all over the floor, leaves everywhere, little snips of branches everywhere. I'm like, no wonder the florist has stuff everywhere when I go in. There we go. I've learned my lesson. Don't use your scissors at home. They don't work. I just end up breaking scissors, dulling scissors. So I just use my little garden snippers and I've had no problem. None at all. The only thing is the little snippers don't open packages. <laughs> so you will need your scissors for all oh, good. One more. One more. Just one more. It definitely looks like it was put together by grandma. <laughs> yeah. But hey. That's great. Perfect. Just perfect. Maybe I'll try to stick some more little ones in there. Oh. Truly. And I'm just going to let this run until it shuts off by itself. Okay. How about two more here? Yeah. These have little, little tiny leaves on them. Real little. It's very fine. 
I'll see if I can get it up close so you can see the leaves on them. They're really tiny. Okay, so I'll snip this one here a little bit. Well, how about if I just do that? Yeah, oh, kids everywhere today because school is out for the summer. Oh, they were everywhere. <laughs> My husband couldn't wait to get home. He goes, there are kids everywhere. He goes, it's official. School's out. I said, yes, it is. It is official. I just don't know. I'm trying to get that as bad as I can. But you know what? It's going to get misshoveled around so much being transported and then carried into the ballet. And it will sit under somebody's seat and all that. So I don't think that back branch is very secure in there. I'm going to take this little guy out. <clears throat> we'll redo him. Yeah. So she's been performing in ballet for the past five years. So <laughs> it was one year she was a, a tiger cub. And uh, that was like one of her first performances and my daughter sat there and said yeah I got to watch my daughter be born to somebody else because she was a tiger cub being born I'm like well you know the stories that can be told with ballet are amazing yeah that'll work just breaking it down to smaller pieces and it'll work it will be all good. Yeah. Just fill it up with the little pieces. Yeah. So today we went and watched the kids leave school. And I went ahead and took my megaphone. And I was yelling out to the kids, welcome to summer. You know. Uh, my daughter showed up dressed like an oxalato. So, we had our little school out for the summer celebration. Daddy was there to, you know, greet his daughter. Yeah. He was a very excellent father, very highly, highly involved in his daughter's life. Very highly involved. So involved that I sit there shocked, you know. I mean... It's amazing to see. Amazing. It's beautiful. To see a father have such a loving relationship with his daughter. Yeah. What a guy. He had a t-shirt today that said Far from Nugan. And when I said it, he was surprised. And he goes, you know what that is? And I said, oh, yes, I remember it. Yeah. Y'all remember that far from Nugan? The Volkswagen t-shirt. I have got a mess all over this kitchen floor. And, uh... I'm sure the husband's going to be like, really? Really, you had to do that? And I expect that maybe we'll go out to lunch tomorrow after the ballet. Maybe not. We'll just see how the group is doing. Yeah. Sometimes she feels like it after the ballet, and sometimes she doesn't. Stopped at a yard sale yesterday. This lady was selling stuff that she, it was like her leftovers that she wasn't going to use. 
Like if she had bought a four pack of dental floss and she only needed one pack, she had the other three packs out there for sale. And uh, that's really the best idea ever. Yeah, just putting the little thing out there. That's working. Wow. Okay. And I think we nailed it. And uh, so that was kind of a, a unique thing to see to walk around a yard sale. It was by the bank, so that's why we were there. We didn't go looking for it on purpose. And uh, I'm, that's kind of like one way to get your money back, you know. Get a bargain on a four-pack of dental floss and 